Hello, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shukuna and I love drawing. And here on this channel, I share my learnings and my experimentations and hopefully it inspires you for your drawing habit. And today's experiment is based on the fact that I love drawing with a brush pen. I have the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen often with me, but if you don't have one, maybe you have one of those water brushes where usually you fill the barrel with water to combine it with your watercolor so you can paint without using a brush. But you can also fill the barrel with ink, colored ink, India ink, any kind of ink really, and then use it like it was a brush pen. So today I want to do that. I just filled a brush pen with red ink, which is a water-soluble fountain pen ink that I actually hardly ever use, but it's such a beautiful color. I thought this would be really good. The poppy red to draw with. And you can use a syringe or one of those plastic squeezy things. I don't know the word for it to um, soak up ink and put it in the barrel of your water brush. I'm sure you will find a way to do this without making too much of a mess. And yeah, let's draw something with this and see how this works out. I'm using a Stillman and Burn sketchbook, Beta series. It's very good for mixed media, drawing, wet media, so I guess my inky business will be great for this. Okay, so I have a little bit of a still life set up and let's see what I can do with this. I'll start at the left hand side and I'm kind of eyeballing to make sure that I will have enough space once I work my way from left to right. And I start at the left because I'm right-handed and otherwise I will be probably smudging my drawing. And what you want to do when you use a brush pen or a water brush filled with ink is not to be too heavy-handed. Although if you press a little bit harder, then you can give extra weight to your line, but you can also really make a very thin line and you can use that to your benefit. And of course you can press the barrel if you want more ink to flow out, but I don't need to do that. I have plenty of ink here. See how you can really get a thick and a very thin line. And you only achieve that by relaxing your hand and go with the flow. If you're tense, then your line will be too. I'm going to abbreviate. I don't need to write down all the numbers here. This is fine. There's kind of a texture in the glass of the bottle. It's really a pretty bottle. I think it may have been part of the reason that I bought it. I'm trying to add the level of the ink in there as well. And the label. And I'm sort of mimicking the writing on the label here. And now I'm drawing that squeezy thingy that I still don't know the word for. And a brand new water brush, which I'm not using. And there you go, it takes just a few minutes thanks to the broad strokes you basically make with the brush. It's very different than a thin line with a pen. And now I could experiment with a water brush filled with water because this ink is water soluble. And I can try and see if I can actually dilute a little bit to give some weight on the page by giving it a drop shadow. And this way I also get to know this material, this ink. And it reminds me how beautiful it dilutes into a pink hue. And if I'm picking up too much, I can just wipe my brush and move on. Maybe give this a little bit of color so you can see that this is ink. And I'm really exploring. I don't know how to do this either. I don't know all the answers. I'm just playing. I'm allowing myself to play. And I think that is really important that we allow ourselves to play in our sketchbook. I think this is a really quick way to fill a page and a really fun way too. And you only need just a couple of tools and your sketchbook. I hope this inspires you to grab something from your art stash that you don't use that often, like my poppy red ink. And now I found a use for it. And if you don't have a water brush or ink, don't go buy it. This is really a push towards taking a look at all the art supplies that you have, because as artists, 
We love all the tools and we love buying art supplies. So your assignment for this week is to use an art supply that is currently collecting dust on the shelf. And if you don't like using it, that's a sign that maybe you should say goodbye to it. Hand it over to someone who might be really happy with it. Have fun exploring and experimenting. I will be back next week with another video. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you like my style here on Draw Tip Tuesday, you might want to take a class. I teach them all over the world and online. So check out my workshop page on my website. And if that's not an option for you to take a class, then maybe you want to buy my book. It is kind of like taking a course, but in the comfort of your own home, or maybe you can take it on vacation and get inspired. One more thing, I have a Patreon page, which I really recommend you taking a look at because there is much more going on. Tips, advice, inspiration, and a lot of different benefits if you become a member of my club there. The links of all the things that I just mentioned are below this video in the description. And I will see you next week. Bye.